Past, Present, and Future, the Evolution of Educational Technology. Education plays an integral role in our cognitive development throughout all stages of our lives. From the first moment we open our eyes and begin to become aware of our surroundings, we take the figurative baby steps in beginning to process basic information into much larger, more complex combinations, ultimately placing us on a lifelong journey of discovery and learning. Likewise, sweeping innovations in technology have allowed our reliance upon it to steadily increase. From hitting the snooze button on our alarm clock to begin our day, to using our cell phone throughout, our daily routines have seamlessly integrated technology into all aspects of our lives. The development of the educational aspect of the field is largely due in part to the contributions of four theorists, John Dewey, Robert Gagne, B.F. Skinner, and Lev Vygotsky. The combined field of education and technology is known by a variety of titles over the years. Instructional technology, instructional design, distance learning, and e-learning. For me, there's only a single term that truly encompasses the entirety of this field, educational technology. The name signifies the culmination of two distinct fields. I consider myself both an educator and one that maximizes the use of modern technology to best serve my teaching needs and the needs of my learning audience. In 1896, John Dewey revolutionized the educational landscape by developing and advocating his theory of progressive education and education as engineering. He felt that a more effective education could be gained by having a curriculum rooted in real-world activities and developing critical thinking and social skills while working with others. Robert Gagne developed the conditions of learning during World War II, but I'll let him tell you a little bit more about that. In 1954, B.F. Skinner unveiled his belief in operant conditioning. According to Skinner, the term operant emphasizes the fact that the behavior operates upon the environment to generate consequences. He introduced three subcategories of reinforcement, including primary and secondary, generalized, positive, and negative. Lev Vygotsky advocated social development. That was he believed the learning process should be a social process, fair and impartial with the end result providing the knowledge and skills necessary to give everyone the education they require. He also promoted the idea of zone of proximal development. The educational framework established by Dewey, Gagne, Skinner, and Vygotsky were initially limited to the technology of their era. In 1890, one of the primary tools used by Dewey was a school slate, predecessor to the chalkboard. An early version of a slide projector was in use during this time frame called the Magic Lantern. Likewise, the radio also gained prominence as a valuable educational tool. Although theoretical development in the community slowed, from a technology standpoint, one of the most important developments of this era was the personal computer. Personal computer technology became more affordable than ever, possessed greater power and a reduced size, and was now a reasonably priced addition to the classroom. Also, massive open online courses, MOOC, are beginning to change the way we approach educational technology. They carry no fee. No prerequisites other than internet access and interest, no predefined expectations for participation, and no formal accreditation. Two trends also developed during this time frame that assisted in the expansion of the field, the ability to work in a collaborative environment, and the different types of technology and technology combinations available. In the next five to ten years, I believe that two technologies will prove central to the development of the field, massive open online courses and on-demand programs. The potential for MOOCs when they are able to offer collegiate accreditation is substantial. The cost of an education would substantially decrease, while increasing the likelihood that a college education would be possible for almost anyone. Secondly, on-demand learning opportunities allow learners to access content knowledge at any time, any place, and from any source. The combination of education and technology has provided the framework for the continued development of the field of educational technology. Through hard work and collaborative learning, it has proven to be a successful recipe, and it will continue to evolve through the hard work and dedication of everyone with the field of educational technology, both learners and teachers alike.